insanely plagued by uh, evil, suicidal thoughts, daily, nightly, like could not sleep. The amount of, of self-medication I had to do in my life to even allow my to sleep would, would blow you all away. Uh, these two wonderful ladies are from my church and uh, they had no idea. My wife knew some of it, talking about things like uh, drinking uh, a fifth of Jameson whiskey every three or four days. About I, I had a 40 year tobacco addiction with Copenhagen, which is like the co was crack cocaine of tobacco, right? It's just terrible, terrible things of, of this nature. I'm telling you that the, the, the amount of torment that I was in on a daily basis was, was just insane. And that day after I left here, after I was delivered, after I left this building, I'm telling you, it was completely changed, completely new, completely new creation. Tell me what happened when you came Well, first of all, oh, I, I, I am, I'm cutting you off though. But one more, I'll give it to that question in a moment. <laughs> but I got to say this, because those people who have ever had uh, nicotine withdrawals or alcohol withdrawals, I don't know what they feel like, because I didn't have them. And we're talking about 40 years, 40 years. There's no way that that can be in a person's mind. That is complete deliverance. Absolutely, there's no way it cannot be. And alcohol, the same thing. Sleep like a baby every night now. I'm sorry, what was your question? Tell them what happened when you came. Well, are you saying, okay, so my, I, yes. Two weeks before he came, he called the suicide hotline. Oh, that's true. I did call the suicide hotline two weeks before I came. And uh, and as I got here, I, I, I'm not sure the question that you're asking before I came. I don't think I follow what you're asking me to say or what happened well, when I, I was here. I, I don't even know what happened because I was praying for other people. So, oh, what happened? <laughs> okay, thank you. See, I was trying to figure out which part it was. So, this lovely lady here, who I'm so grateful for you being obedient because I must have been standing up here 45 minutes, an hour. I don't know, it was a long time. And at the time, and I'm standing here, I, I literally am standing here and I, I want to be delivered. I am a believer. I have been a believer. I was under massive torment. I was under so much bondage, so much strongholds, completely. But I'm telling you, with with you, you did not give up. You did not give up. It's going 45 minutes, probably an hour. Who knows? But then finally, as as the, as the point in which she hit on the, the the right thing, and I dropped, boom, to the floor and. The great thing is as I dropped to the floor, it, immediately I'm like just bawling, my face is leaking. It's just, it was grotesque and it was beautiful. But guess what? You didn't even stop there. You did not stop. You kept going, kept going, boom, 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 boom. More, oh gee, and then my face, more stuff coming out. I hate to see what this carpet's like when we're done, but man, as, 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 as I got up from, from the floor after the experience, what I did, it went back to the chair. Like I was just physically exhausted. I, I couldn't, I've never felt such peace in my life. I was just out, I was done, I was gone. I was so internally happy, I felt joy. For the last two weeks, I cry every day. I haven't cried in 20 years. Every single day I'm sitting at the kitchen table with my wife, we'll be talking about anything. Start bawling. I'm sitting here praising the God, start bawling, well, whatever. Cry, I haven't felt in so long, I can't even believe it. But man, praise God, I thank you all, and I thank you all for being obedient as well to the Lord because it saved my life, and it probably literally did save my life. I was, man, I was, inches away from death, inches, like so close, the devil just had it in, like that on my neck, now, see ya, and uh, yes, praise the Lord, and thank you, yes, that's right, and uh, yeah, that's what I got, do you have any more questions? Uh, I don't think so, anybody else got questions for him? No. No? Right on, I'll listen to the little man in the back, very good. So you got none of that now? Oh, man.
Well, no suicidal thoughts on that. No, heck no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Come on. I get I get killed by the Holy Spirit in the shower. I get hit killed by the Holy Spirit in the car. I am man. I am completely out of that that realm. Now I'm not going to say that I'm pure and sinless or anything like that. Obviously, I'm here to get more of what I already got because I do think that there is more yes. of what happened last week, yes. and I can't identify it. But I'm telling you, if I I got to get a checkup from the neck up, as you all say. <laughs> right? So uh, yes, so there you have it. Very good. So that that is what I am here for today, and thank you all. Yes, that girl. I, I'm taking over here. You you can sit down. <laughs> so his wife's my best friend. Um, she's my twin, and our best friend Emily was here. Um, we go back way back, um, and um, I just want to like give glory to God. Um, Um, Emily called me out of nowhere. We had been in touch his life. And she's like, do you want to go to lunch? I'm like, sure. And she doesn't know I'm on this like little revival in my heart. <laughs> these last couple months since my grandma died. And like, she meets me at Cracker Barrel and I'm like sharing like what I feel like. And she's just like, oh. And like, that's like, it's just those little things like being obedient to that little thing. Like, you know. Um, so I just wanted to like give glory and and I know Jim yes. <laughs> before and the gym after and yes. it's just like amazing and he didn't even share how like he got delivered at his work because he's like what's his secret place and he's like I'm just gonna pretend okay praying with dad like he's right here like he's telling me this dad being the Lord is because I'm trying to learn how to speak with the Lord right Amen. so and then you're like brought through all these memories in childhood oh yes and he's like thinking how he used to be alone and killing animals for no reason, setting stuff ablaze, doing this, doing stuff this that didn't that make five sense. Years old. Five years old, okay? He's in the back, he owns a business, he's in his room. <laughs> I'm gonna help this up again, remember, okay? <laughs> he's in his room and he's renouncing everything, and then he gets to isolation, boom, in his work, and it comes out. Oh, isolation. Absolutely. And it then he came out with a fury as well. It was, oh man, oh, it's incredible. And the visions I had at that point, if uh, self deliverance is, is possible and is as well. Yes. However, yes. yes. And yes. then his wife Emily's like, come on, God. Like, come on. Like, she's still kind of like in the state. Like, she can't feel. She's numb. She hasn't cried. They're very similar. And then he's all amped up and he's like, You're going to be delivered today in Jesus' name while he's at work and she's at home. My sister sends her some random video and my friend Emily's like made a list of all this stuff to renounce and everything. And she sends a video and she hears resentment and envy and she like feels sucker punched, my friend Emily. And so she just like goes goes to town on those words and then she's just like, I am worthy, you love me, Jesus. And God like met her and like delivered her right at her house. She starts crying for the first time in years. And it's just, I just I just had to come up here because oh, I'm just like, you're missing all these details, man. <laughs> so, yes. So there, you know, it's funny is there's even way, way, way more than that on a day-to-day -day basis. That's just absolutely incredible. Is that the reason that I focus on those first items because those are the items that that people cannot believe that you can have such massive addictions and be completely delivered, no withdrawals, no side effects, and have only good things. No, but uh, the other things uh, are not as we can't. A lot of people can't even picture what that is, but you can picture what it is like to have massive addiction and then not. And like. It just blows my mind every time I think about my life now. So there you have it. I think I am finished. Am I finished? Let me ask you. Am I done? Anybody else? Okay. All right. Lead over to the those guys. Praise the Lord.